Well, Maxine and Kai, a lower court had ruled in favor of the challengers of question F. The judge at the time said the question could remain on the ballot, but the votes would not be certified. But after oral arguments at the state Supreme Court yesterday, tonight, the lower court ruling reversed. The Harbor Place redevelopment ballot question back in the hands of voters. The Supreme Court of Maryland ruling Thursday that question F on the Baltimore City ballot in November will be counted. Question F will put the decision on whether the controversial Harbor Place redevelopment plan can move forward to voters. A plan that for months has generated debate among city leaders and we've heard from residents. When I was a kid, I, Harbor Place was very different. It did used to be a little, a lot more livelier. I came down here today for that sense of nostalgia. I do wish that we had more places to go right now. So I'm looking forward to whatever revitalization that we can have. Back in September, a group of Baltimore City voters filed a petition arguing that question F was invalid, in part because the question's wording was too confusing. An Anne Arundel County judge agreed, but in a six-page opinion today, the Supreme Court ruled the judge made a mistake and ordered the circuit court judgment reversed. Baltimore City Councilman Eric Costello, who represents that district, releasing a statement applauding the court's swift and decisive ruling and encouraging voters to vote yes for question F. The Harbor Place redevelopment plan is at least a $500 million project led by developer P. David Bramble of MCB Real Estate. The plan includes a mix of retail, residential and public space with hundreds of housing units. A plan pushed by Mayor Brandon Scott. Will not stop until this project comes to fruition so that the world can see that Baltimore is back. But there's opposition, especially regarding the potential housing units. Former mayor candidate and attorney Theru Vignaraja brought the challenge on behalf of an opposing group of residents. Tonight, his statement on the high court's ruling, saying in part, we're certainly disappointed. We'll now shift our focus to encouraging voters to vote no on question F. Well, the mayor's office also applaud, applauding the high court's ruling, saying in part the revitalization of Harbor Place is long overdue. We're live tonight. Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.